Good day to everyone. We continue to learn Sapphire 3D and today we will start the creation of architectural model of the building. Click on the application button and select line new. First of all, let's select appropriate building code for our current project. Find the button Project Properties on the panel Project and click on it. In this dialog box you can change such project properties as building code, information about the project, parameters for generation of analytical model, parameters for auto-generation of punch and shear contours, etc. From the list building code for lots select EN1991. In the field design option for RC structures in Lira Supper, find the line Euro code 2 and select yes. Then click Apply in this window. This operation allows us to select Eurocode 2 as current building code. Find the line current building code RC and from the list select Eurocode 2. Click Apply and close the window parameters. Now click on the line Project 1 in the Structure panel. In Properties panel you can see that building codes have been changed. On the tab View, click on the button Visualization. This tool is mentioned to define parameters for visualization of 3D scene. In the Visualization option dialog box, you could define the metric grid, reference mark of UCS, color for the window, color for selection, etc. The settings are defined for the current view and all new views of the same type. In the field Metric Grid, check only in first quadrant and set number of cells 20. Then click OK. Click on the application button and select line Save As. Write the name of your project, for instance, Multi Story Building. The Sapphire 3D has a default story height of 3000 mm. In panel structure, Select line story number 1. In panel properties, change story height to 4000 mm and click apply. When creating model of the building, first of all we need to create access grid. On the create tab, find the command grid tabular and click on it. Set the following parameters in this dialog box. Select the grid type rectangular grid of access. By default, the lower left corner is defined as the snap point. The coordinates of snap point are x0, y0. Then set the grid line extension D as 4000 mm. In both fields, click on the button Delete all intervals. Then click on the button Add interval in the vertical grid lines field. Select interval value 3000 and change it to 6000. In the same way, add few more intervals between vertical grid lines with values 1500, 3000, 1500 and 6000 mm. The result and position of the axis are calculated automatically. Select markings for horizontal grid lines from the drop-down list A, B, C. Add intervals between horizontal grid lines with values 6000, 3000, 3000 and 6000 mm. After that, click the OK button. As a result, we get an image of a rectangular grid of coordination axis in the graphic window. To set dimensions between the grid axis, select the grid and click on the button Specify Dimensions. Click on the button Column on the Create tab. Now click on the button Section. In dialog box Parameters of cross-section select rectangular type 
and set dimensions of cross sections B 600 millimeters and H 800 millimeters. Click OK. In panel properties, set generate perfectly rigid body, yes. Place columns at the intersections of the axis B2 and B5. With active button column, click on the button capital. In this dialog box, click on the button add drop panel and set following values. H 200 mm, BX 300 mm and check slope. Click again on the button Add Drop Panel and set following values for second panel H200, BX300. Select the Analytical Model checkbox to visualize appearance of the created capital in Analytics and click Apply. Now place columns at the intersections of axes A1, A2. A5, B1, B6, D1, D6, E1, and E6. Press escape on your keyboard to deactivate command column. Click on the button load bearing wall. In panel properties set generate perfectly rigid body, yes and click Apply. Select Rectangular Construction Method, set thickness 200 mm, select Snap Axis at center line of the wall, Base Level from Story Bottom 0, and Level of Wall Top from Story Top 0. Click on the Axis Intersection 3D and 4E. Press escape on your keyboard to deactivate command wall. Now let's create door opening in the wall diaphragm. Click on the button door and then click on the button parameters which is located below the ribbon. In dialog box parameters of doors, double click on the line rectangular and select rectangular opening. In the right part of this dialog box set dimensions of the opening B 900 mm, H 2100 mm. Then find the line snap and select middle. Click OK. Now click on the center of the wall which is located along axis D. Press escape on your keyboard to deactivate common door. Click on the button Slab. In the Properties bar of the Slab tool, set the following. Construction method Rectangular. Thickness 200 mm. Level from Story Bottom. Press the button X on your keyboard and type minus 1170. Then press the button Down arrow and type coordinate Y value. Minus 1420. Press Enter. In graphical window you will see first point of slab. Type 19420, coordinate Y value. Then press the button up arrow and type coordinate X value 19420. Press Enter. And then press Escape to deactivate command slab. Click on the button Top View on Projection and Views panel. Select Dimensions Chain along axis X. On the Edit tab, click on the button Move and change location of dimensions in place you want to. Press Escape on your keyboard to deactivate command Move. Do the same operation with Dimensions Chain along axis Y. Select Slab. On the Edit tab, click on the button Insert Vertex. Click and hold left mouse button on the closest to yourself edge of the slab and pull cursor downwards. Set coordinates X 
13,420 y minus 1,420 and press enter. Click and hold left mouse button on the edge of the slab between vertex 1 and right angle of the slab. Pull cursor downwards and set coordinates x 13,420 y 4,580 and press enter. Click and hold left mouse button on the right angle of the slab. Set coordinates x 19,420 y 4,580 and press enter. Press escape. With selected slab click on the button opening on the create tab. In the properties bar of the opening tool set construction method rectangular. Set rectangular opening inside diaphragm. Press escape twice. Click on the button Isometry on Projections and Views panel. Select Slab and click on the button Plus Minus Delta H on the Create tab. In the Properties bar set Back Side and Depth minus 200 mm. Set coordinates for the first point of thickening x 5250, y 5250 and press enter. And for the second point x 12750 y 6750. Press enter and then press escape twice. We have successfully created an architectural model of a typical floor. And at this stage I propose to finish this lesson. Don't forget to save your project and see you on the next lessons.